Good morning everyone, Stefan here with Bohemian Tales. I am back in the woods. Right now I'm only pulling 206 watts out of 400 watts that I have on the roof. The sun is pretty optimal. I'm gonna go clean them and see if that helps. Moment of truth, eh, it's 210 or instead of 206. I guess the solar panels weren't super dirty, but they were dusty. These plates are starting to look a little rough, so I have this cutting board oil which I use for my butcher block once in a while. So I wanted to see if I can, look at this one, I'm sure you guys can pick that up on camera, but I do want to see if I can actually bring them back to their nicer natural color. Once the oil dries, we'll see the results. I'm hoping it helped to can't not not help after washing them so many times with soaps and stuff. And I also use them as cutting boards, so I do cut on them a lot. And I also like it when I have a fancy feast and I cut cheese, those are the places that I use. I haven't used my cast iron slash Dutch oven in a while and it's in pretty rough shape. I'm going to attempt to fix it, hopefully I can. Check it out. Got myself this little scrubber. If you do have a cast iron, this is a game changer. So I got it off Amazon. All right, so I ended up moving the setup up here because the wind seems to be beating this way. So even though it has the wind guards, it was still struggling. So now, the back is the portion that gets hit by the wind and it's a little bit better than the little wing guard. That's why I got the stove because the last stove that I had, which I still have, but I just use that inside. I have this one because of the wind guard so I can actually cook outside, which is what I like to do when I come camping. <laughs> So because it's super windy, I have to stay between the doors here because I want to put some greens and I think they're going to fly away if I stay over there. I definitely don't want my greens to fly away. So this is mixed uh, arugula and baby spinach. Got some avocado, slices. I'm just 
just uh, re-seasoning the pans with the uh, oil, coconut oil. So once it starts smoking, I can turn it off. Let it cool down and hopefully we got a good coat of oil embedded in the cast iron. I'm not an expert, but I do know that once they heat up, then it kind of opens up like a like a pore kind of a thing. And then because it has oil on it, then it closes up and then the oil kind of gets in the uh, iron. I may be wrong, but that's what I've read online. So that's what I've been doing. It seems to be working. Again, I haven't used them in a while. So I'm uh, gonna try to take better care of them. Stay tuned because I am going to attempt to make some pizzas in this this also serves like a dutch oven i made uh, mini pizzas on the campfire before but i didn't have one of these so my plan is to put this in it and we'll see if it works and it doesn't burn the pizza on the bottom basically look at the plates they look great somewhat restored because i have that uh, cutting board oil out i'm also gonna apply a little bit on my actual cutting board Gonna let it dry up a little bit and we should be good to go. Because I use coconut oil, if you guys know, it tends to get hard. So I don't wanna leave too much excess oil in there because it's gonna look ugly. <laughs> okay, all done. I hope you guys can see this on the camera, but they're both fully seasoned. You see how it looks like now? So basically, it looks like it's not oiled up, right? Because it used to look a little wet and now it's like a matte black. But this is the oil. That's the coconut oil, so it acts kind of like a sealant. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna try to attempt to make these mini pizzas I got from Trader Joe's. I'm not sponsored by Trader Joe's, I swear, but that's just where I go shop. Anyway, the box is a little crumpled. I didn't actually get to look inside, but that's the only way I could fit it in my fridge because when I go camping, I really stock up my fridge. The cast iron skillet and pot make a Dutch oven. I did try to make pizza before in it, but it was on the campfire. I don't have a campfire today. I have the next best thing. This time around, I have a secret weapon. I have that little grill here. And what's basically gonna happen, I'm hoping that it's not going to burn the bottom of the pizzas because that's what happens if you don't have a grill like that. And the flame just comes from the bottom. Also, I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm just gonna show you. How about that? Yeah, here goes nothing, let's see open this but it's still intact oh, all right. not so bad these are in one bag which means I'm gonna have three two of them I wonder if they'll fit yeah they should fit there On the box, it had two cooking instructions. One is a microwave, which I don't have, and the other one is a toaster oven, which this is closer to a toaster oven than a microwave. Anyway, it said 10 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and then check on it and then see how they turn out. Hopefully, they turn out pretty good. Hey Siri, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. I see a little smoke coming out. But that's okay, because I think that's only from the coconut oil that the cast irons are basically seasoned with. I'm hoping it's not the pizzas. <laughs> it shouldn't be because, again, I have that little grill, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't mess it up, because I'm getting hungry and the anticipation is killing me. And I have three more minutes to wait, so... 
It's the longest three minutes ever. It hasn't passed yet, but I'm gonna look at it because I really don't want to burn up. Look at that! The burn comes from like, I think one onion that fell on the bike pan. So should have cut that off. 10 minutes is up and I'm gonna turn off the stove here. You guys ready? I know I am. Will you look at that? That's perfect. Look at that cheese melted. Came out, fantastic. See, don't have to worry about an oven for pizza. Mmm, very impressed with this. I'm definitely gonna get some more from uh, <coughs> Trader Joe's when I go camping. <laughs> These are nice. Those mini pizzas were fantastic. I can't believe I didn't get some earlier, but now I know. If you wanna see more Van Life related content, you can check out this video up here. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.